This is the Composer Corner. Composer Corner. Hello and welcome to this episode of Composer Corner. I am Bethan and I am normally secretary for Meg, but today I am excited to be talking to you about the wonderful composer and musician, Rebecca Helfrich Clark. Whilst she is not the most well-known composer, there is actually a lot of information out there about her and you can find links to this and directions to recordings in the description underneath this podcast. So, let's get started. One of the most interesting things about Clark is that she had a very small output in terms of her composition, meaning she didn't really write very much music. In total, she wrote about 80 pieces in her lifetime, and the majority of these were early on. Clark had an interesting start to her musical journey. She was born in England in the summer of 1886, which is towards the end of the Victorian era, for those of you who studied it in school. And she had a German mother and an American father who both encouraged her music. Clark studied violin at the Royal Academy of Music in her late teenage years and moved on to study composition at the Royal College at the age of 21. It was here she started playing the viola for the first time in order to explore composition more deeply. During this time, she had a big argument with her father, preventing her from finishing the course and forcing her to find a job in order to stand on her own two feet. Clark turned to viola playing to make a living for herself. Fun fact alert, Rebecca Clark was one of the first ever female musicians to become a professional member of an orchestra when she joined the London-based Queen's Hall Orchestra in 1913. Isn't this amazing to think about today? As a musician and composer, Rebecca Clark toured around all sorts of places, in Great Britain, Europe, and even further afield in America. Most of Clark's music consists of vocal, choral, and chamber music pieces, as well as some for solo string instruments, and I would really recommend using the links under this podcast to go and explore these further. In 1919, she wrote what is now considered to be one of her most famous works, her viola sonata. This got through to the final of an anonymous composition, competition. That is, a competition where you didn't have to let the judges know your name. Whilst it didn't win, when the judges found out she was a woman, they were shocked by how amazing her music was. Her fame as a result of this led to all kinds of opportunities for concerts in big concert halls, such as the Wigmore Hall, which is definitely worth a Google if you haven't heard of it, and with the BBC. Clark's life spanned over a highly interesting and turbulent period of history across the world. During the Second World War, she found herself stuck in America, where she lived between the houses of her two brothers and their families. In 1942, just three years before the end of the war, she found a position as a nanny. It was at this point that she stopped writing as much music. It would not be until her 90s that it would be appreciated in quite the same way again. The music we have been thinking about today was written towards the end of what is now known as the Romantic period in Western classical music history, and at the turn of the 21st century. Other than the viola sonata, my favourite works by Clark are her Morpheus for viola and her song Shy One. There is so much more to this composer than we've talked about today. For example, she was six foot tall. And I would seriously recommend exploring the wealth of work and composition which is available in the links attached to this podcast. Clark died in 1979. In the following decade, a magazine called Gramophone described her as one of the very best composers of her time. I would have to agree with this. Not only was she an outstanding composer and musician, but also an inspirational pioneer, pioneer, pioneer in the world of women and music. Thank you so much for listening today and have fun finding out more about this extraordinary musician. This is the Composer Corner. Composer Corner.